Excellent. So I had a very strange dream this morning. After I woke up, turned off uh, Pokemon Sleep, set my uh, research done and stuff like that, and went back to sleep, okay? And the dream, as it went, was... I don't know where I was. It was like some kind of condominium or sorts, I guess. And uh, it was an older building, possibly in, a, in warmer areas. Be nice. Wishful thinking there. Um, winter's coming up, so I'm a lot more lethargic. Uh, and my sads is coming in, which seasonal attributed depression, it's a killer. Like, literally. I, I honestly hate it. Well, anyways, the dream. Now, you might have remembered me talking about uh, the Pokemon dream with the uh, Forbidden Zone. Well, don't worry. This one wasn't like that. Well, in a dream, I was uh, playing a virtual reality edition that Blizzard had released for World of Warcraft. And I had logged out because I guess I was hungry. So I asked my fridge because it had like an AI attached to it and it had like some sort of inventorying system. I guess it could read what you had in your fridge by reading like barcodes and stuff like that. And I was so frustrated with the fridge at that moment, okay, because I had a fridge that could tell me how much food and beverages I had what quality of condition they were, had they gone bad yet, and how much was left in there, okay? But it couldn't pour me a glass of milk. It could not pour me a glass of milk. What really annoys me about this is this was my dream, okay? This was my dream realm. And the fridge that has the technologically advanced AI that can tell me how much milk I have can't pour me a glass of milk. And there was a liquid dispenser on it. It could dispense liquid. It could dispense ice. But you're telling me in my dream, I couldn't have it so it could dispense milk. Fuck you, imagination. I mean, you are succeeding with the virtual reality video game thing from World of Warcraft, okay? By the way, my spell setup was actually absolute shit, okay? It was doing me no good, and in the game, I, I actually was trying to figure out how to swap out my spells, because uh, the spells that I had set up were just, they were failing. My character was dying more often, and it was uh, moving forward, and that's, well, either you started in a new uh, expansion, or you just plainly suck. You know, you're you're if if you're dying like an NPC in late game expansion, you're doing pretty bad. Just saying. Like, I if you're five, I guess that makes sense. I'm kidding, folks. If if you're dying in late stage expansion, it gets better. The better your gear is, you're good. Just do some pugs. Pug it out, man. Pug it out. Yeah, ignore the uh, low D the low DPS person if you're a warlock. Warlocks aren't high DPS. They're dots. Do you know why they're the most deadly combatant in the BGs, but also are the ones to be most likely to get killed first, and yet usually have a pretty high kill score? Dots. They're dots. Stat. If you ran into a BG with just Warlocks, the other team would lose. They would not be able to finish getting to your flag in Warsaw Gulch. They wouldn't be able to take anything.
because they would just be covered in dots. It would be... I always wanted to make a coven, like a, a guild, that was just all warlocks. Just to see how far we could get in things like BGs and, and, and raids and stuff like that. Nobody ever wanted to join in on it because they suck. They have no adventure. People have no adventure. Keep in mind, I wasn't even playing a warlock in the dream. I was uh, playing a druid or something. And they were using, like, a fist weapon, and, well, like I said, it just wasn't working for the, the whatever the hell I was doing. We were, like, fighting these giant zombie demon dudes, evil little dragon zombies, I don't know. They, yeah. And a character build, I guess, it just wasn't all that, uh, it wasn't all that, um, it wasn't representing 